Hey guys, welcome back to another AI video and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run WAN 2.1 open source model totally for free on your PC. Now I've been playing around a bit with this model and WAN 2.1 is hands down the best open source and free to use video generation model out there. Now we have a couple of options with these models over here. You can generate of course video using text to video video to video and if you have a muted video you can also generate audio for that video using this workflow here are some options of what you can generate using this software and honestly this is leaps and bounds better than the previous van model in fact looking at these results this is on par if not better than some paid video generation options out there now WAN has recently added Comfy UI integration and this is the GitHub repo for that. Here you can see the best part about WAN 2.1 is that it supports consumer grade GPUs. So we have a 1.3 billion parameter model over here which requires only 8 gigs of VRAM which is a really good news for those of us with lower end GPUs. And as they are claiming over here, it can generate 5 seconds of 480p video on an RTX 4090 in about 4 minutes, which is extremely fast. Here you can see they have prepared a video demo for this as well. So they have some examples of what this model is capable of generating and honestly these examples look really amazing. We're going to be testing a bunch of these in a minute over here. But just looking at this trailer, we can generate some really awesome results using this model. As you can see over here, this model was trained on so many different styles. We have the anime option. We have this Chinese style, which, lo which looks a lot like Pixar sort of style. And you also have like 3D animation and stuff like that as well. Now setting up this model is extremely simple. You only need to open up this link from the description down below. And we'll need to download a bunch of models. So let's start this. First off, we need to download this text encoder. So you're going to want to download this and you will need to place it in your Comfy UI text encoders folder. Now I have already done this. You can see it over here in my text encoders folder. Next up, you want to download this VAE file and you need to place it in models VAE folder. I have downloaded it over here. After that, we're going to download the diffusion models and we have a bunch of options over here. So let's explore this. So for the diffusion model, they have the image to video options and the text to video options. We're going to download and try both of these. If you're low on VRAM and you don't have access to any online compute, I'm going to recommend you to use the text to video with 1.3 billion parameters. This is going to be the best option. They also have an option with 14 billion parameters if you have access to higher end GPUs. And they have two options in that with floating point 16 and floating point 8. We're going to be going with this one. After that, we have the image to video options. And here there are two options as well. The first two options are for 480p video and the second two are for 720p video. And they have two options in both of these. Once again, I'm going to be going with the 480p video. The 720p will take way longer time to generate a video, but it's going to be more detailed, of course. Once you download the image to video and text to video model, it's going to go into your Comfy UI folder under models and diffusion models directory. So you're going to want to place those models over here. Okay, once we have everything downloaded, we're pretty much ready to go. I would recommend one more thing. Uh, I would recommend you to go to your Comfy UI. Just click on the Comfy UI manager and click on update all. So this will update everything inside Comfy UI. After updating, once you've restarted your Comfy UI, what you're going to want to do is come to this website over here and you can simply drag this video over here. So this is the text to video workflow and you can drop it in your Comfy UI workspace over here and this will load up the workflow. We're going to double check the models and we're going to make sure everything is okay over here. We're going to select the VA as well and we have the default prompt over here. Let's click on generate and see how long it takes for this 1.3 billion parameter model to generate the video. I'm using an RTX A6000 GPU and the generation was extremely fast in my case. It took only like 100 seconds for it to generate this video. And as you can see, the details on this video are really good. Now, if we pass this video through an upscaler, of course, we can increase the detail in the video, but it's already looking really good. 
now we're gonna try a different video let's try with some birds flying in the sky let's click on generate okay this video took one minute to generate and we have a image of a bird gliding through the air now let's try a different prompt this time let's try and give it a lot of stuff to tackle with so this is a prompt about a car drifting through a city street let's see how well this model does with this prompt so once again it took 60 seconds for it to generate and honestly the results are really good the car is exactly not like drifting but there are no distortions in the scene if we pass this video through an upscaler in my opinion this video can be easily used as a stock footage in a video next let's try some anime prompt i'm gonna change the prompt over here so this is a prompt of an anime person drinking a cup of coffee and let's see how this does with anime video generation this is the result we've got and once again it looks really stunning I don't know why he has two cups over here and there's no one sitting with, with him. He must really be feeling the blues right now. But this video can easily be used as a lo-fi like animation. Uh, you can see there's rain falling in the background. And the model has also put the contrasting colors like blue and yellow over here. This time it's the same prompt but with slightly different seed and as you can see the character is not moving this time but the rest of the animation is really good. Look at this smoke animation over here like it is so good. Let's try generating some wildlife footage this time. So this is the footage of a tiger walking through a forest. Let's see how this model does with National Geographic sort of videos. And here we have the results. This is not exactly 5 seconds but this footage once again is really good. The fur of the tiger is not that detailed but it still looks really awesome. Keep in mind we are using the 1.3 billion parameter model only. I would assume the 14 billion parameter model will do way better compared to this. Okay, so now we're gonna try the image to video workflow over here and once again to load that in Comfy UI you're just gonna drag this image from here and you're gonna place it in your Comfy UI and the workflow is gonna pop up. Next up just make sure all the right files are selected. So this time we're gonna use the image to video one. For image to video model you also need the clip vision file over here. So you can simply go back to that link and you're gonna download this from here. And you're gonna download it into your Comfy UI models folder and into the clip vision folder over here. So you're gonna place it here. Once I have downloaded it over here, I will come back to my Comfy UI and I'm gonna click on edit and refresh node definitions. Now it will be able to find that uh, save tensor file. We're gonna click it. Now I'm gonna upload an image over here. I've uploaded an image of a Lamborghini over here and we're gonna write the prompt. A Lamborghini driving on a road and we're gonna click on generate and let's see what video it generates okay so this is the video we've got and we're using the 480p version over here and the details in this are are decent enough to be used in a stock footage or a royalty free footage and there is n pretty much no distortion in this video whatsoever let's try this with an animal or a bird let's change the image Okay, let's see. This is the image we've uploaded this time and let's wait for the results. This is the result we've gotten this time. It tried to make it do something. Uh, at least the eagle attempting to fly was correct. But uh, there's a lot of distortion and this video is pretty much useless. Although to be fair, the prompt was exactly not descriptive enough. I think if we describe more accurately in the prompt what we're looking for, the results can be better. We're gonna try it with humans and we're gonna try to be more descriptive this time. So let's try it with humans. Okay, so I have uploaded this image over here and this time we're a bit more descriptive on exactly what these little girls are doing. So I have written two girls playing rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what the AI generates this time. Okay, this is the result we've gotten and there's a lot of distortion going on and they're exactly not playing rock, paper, scissors. In my opinion, the text to video model was really good. 
especially because we were only using the 1.3 billion model parameter. Now in the next video, I'm going to be comparing the text to video on all of these models. So I'm going to be comparing the 1.3 billion one with the 14 billion parameter model and we're going to see the differences on the same prompt. If you guys have any questions regarding this workflow, you can ask me in the comment section down below and thanks for watching the video.